Hello and welcome to another quick tech tip with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be going over how to create a virtual switch within Samsung SmartThings. This can be completed in the new SmartThings app and will not require a smart app like you needed in the classic app. A virtual switch can be used to trigger a scene or automation that may not normally have a way of being triggered. Please take note that this requires SmartThings Labs, which is only available in specific regions currently with continued rolled out planned for other regions. If you do not have this functionality today, it is possible it will be available to you at a future time, and there is currently no public rollout schedule for SmartThings Labs. To get started, open the SmartThings app and click on Menu. On the screen that opens, you will notice a large section in the middle with a few different icons. We will go ahead and click on Labs. Next, scroll down until you see the option for Virtual Switch. Click on it to be brought to the Virtual Switch Manager. From here, click on Add Virtual Switch. Next, you will give the switch a name, set the hub, and assign a room to it. Once all this information is entered, you can click on Save. You should see a success message on your screen, and clicking on OK should bring you back to the Virtual Device Manager, where you should see a list of all your virtual devices that you have created. If you want to add more, you can just click on the plus sign on the right-hand side of the screen. And if you want to delete any, you can click on the three-dot menu on the right and select Delete. Doing so will give you a red minus sign you can click on next to a virtual device to delete it. You'll notice you are not able to rename a virtual switch here. I will be touching on that in just a moment. Let's now quickly make two simple automations right within the SmartThings app. The first will turn on my kitchen table light when the virtual switch is turned on. The second automation will turn the same light off if the virtual switch is turned off. Obviously you wouldn't have an automation set up like this for a single light, but you could use it to control large groups of lights if you wanted to with a single virtual switch right from within the SmartThings app. Let's now take a look at the automation we set up in the virtual switch device itself. As expected from our automation, when turning the virtual switch on, the kitchen table light is turned on. And when it is turned off, the light is turned off as well. Going into the virtual switch itself, you can set timers just like a real device. This is also where you could change the name of the virtual switch if you want under edit on the three dot menu. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps the video perform better within the YouTube algorithm. And if you aren't already, consider subscribing to the channel and enabling notifications. It's free for you and you'll be one of the first to know when I release other tech and smart home related videos. Thank you for watching.